Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Here I'm just washing like my tea towels that I always use for dish towels and like oven mitts and stuff like that. So I had this uh, like quilted bag that you saw it was um, like blue and white and it's actually a microwave baked potato bag. Well, I was washing it to use it and I've already used it. I bought it at a thrift store, but people make them and sell them at like craft fairs and stuff. And it's supposed to have this lining that makes it like, um, like it's kind of crinkly and helps it cook in the microwave. Well, whenever I actually went to use it, it started burning the fabric. So I had to throw it away. There's no point in donating it because one the fabric was ruined and I didn't want anybody else to um, microwave it and cause a fire <laughs> I was watching my pretty closely and after like a minute and 30 seconds it started to uh, get brown like the fabric was burning and I could smell the burnt fabric so that was a no-go so if you um, I, I don't know if all of them are like that or if there's some that actually work maybe this one just wasn't made properly I'm not sure um, and I've got on my husband's button-down shirts and I'm just gonna go hang those up before they get even more wrinkled and you've probably heard it before but we use like a clothing rack for his clothes because our closet is in our bathroom and it's pretty small and kind of an awkward um, shape to it so we just use this for William's clothes and I like to hang um, the stuff that he wears the most in the middle and the stuff um, that maybe doesn't fit quite right currently I'd like to put that on the end so that he won't reach for it and um, thinking it fits and it doesn't and I've been trying to get into a habit of making my bed every morning um, it, it has not been happening well but I really like just the crisp look um, I'm horrible about making my bed but whenever I do it I do enjoy just how nice and clean it looks So I hope this video gives you lots of motivation to clean. You could fold laundry while you watch. I know I do that sometimes. Um, I'm always watching like clean with me videos and stuff like that. So so a while back we switched from using comforters to cotton quilts and sleeping with a cotton blanket has been such a game changer because we don't get as sweaty um, as we would if we were sleeping um, with like a polyester or synthetic blanket um, and I just went outside to shake those bathroom rugs out get all the like grit and stuff out of them and then I'm just throwing them through the wash with some um, this is basically OxyClean but it's a um, better version of it and like cleaner version and it's from Azure Standard it's called um, I think it's a country safe brand anyway and here I am just tidying up the kitchen this is like a strawberry planning kit that I bought and I'm just moving that to a spare room until I can deal with it I bought it a couple years ago I don't know if the seeds are still good um, I'm not really sure if that thing goes if seeds like that go bad but and I'm just trying to get like all the random stuff that's on our counters off. How do y'all organize your like drink mixes um like liquid IV 
um, hot cocoa mix, stuff like that. That tin that you saw me pull out um, with the flowers on it, that's where I've been putting ours. But we have so many because we also have like a ton of tea bags and like I said, we have the hydration drinks and then um, we also have like true lemon and true lime in there. So I have this belt bag that I got from TJ Maxx as a late birthday present to myself and I absolutely love it but it doesn't fit everything I need so here I am just kind of cleaning it out and sometimes I switch back and forth between this and my um, bigger purse um, so I'm just moving that and getting you know, more clutter off the counters putting it where it goes and stuff but I absolutely love that belt bag I like that it's leather because I feel like I can wear it with um, like whenever I dress up um, like going out places and stuff so and here I am just um, using an all-purpose cleaner on my counters this is just some recipe I found on the internet um, and I always use some sort of variation of this but it's like half or three quarters um, of a bottle worth of vinegar and then I add in water and then I add in some um, a little bit of mild dish soap and it works great because the little bit of dish soap and vinegar helps cut any like, grease or anything off your counters and it's just really nice <laughs> So I've been trying to run the dishwasher early in the day, if not um, the night before, and then that way, um, and then I open it, let all the steam out, that way it's pretty dry whenever I go to put things up, because I don't put things up wet at all. I, um, I'll dry them with a cloth if I have to, or I'll set them on um, like a kitchen mat for them to finish drying, but I don't put them up wet, so they're completely dry. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these up so that whenever I go to make dinner the dishwasher is empty or really close to empty a lot of times I'll bake something between now and dinner time so a lot of times the dishwasher gets pretty full before dinner anyway but this just gives me a little bit of a head start So I have a decluttering video coming out soon and one of the things I decided to get rid of was some spoons that we never used. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with them, we just didn't use them. And this drawer, I call this my hostess cabinet, it keeps all of my like oven mitts and tea towels and stuff all in that one drawer and I'm just picking out some meat to thaw out for tonight's dinner. back to more laundry oh my gosh the laundry is the bane of my existence I don't mind starting it and switching it but folding it and putting it away is is terrible for me the two baskets that are lower and overflowing those are all clean clothes <laughs> that needed to be folded but um, luckily they've been folded since so got that done and you'll see in a little bit I end up going to um, the doctor's office um, my endocrinologist is who I went to go see and I'll show y'all that in a little bit. And obviously this is just a glimpse into my life. This doesn't show like me cleaning bathrooms or anything. Um, and we're kind of busy. I was busy with a lot of like church functions that I had to go and help out with. Um, and even another doctor's appointment in the midst of all this that I didn't show so there's quite a bit going on and I tried to make sure I at least folded um, like all the tea towels and our cloth napkins in here because I knew if I left the laundry room I would not want to um, fold it later so I just went ahead and did it got it out of the way
so I'm about to go into the doctor's office for my appointment and while I'm out of town I'm probably gonna go around and do some fun things maybe go to a thrift store maybe Hobby Lobby not sure yet um, but I'll catch y'all in a little bit So I'm in the doctor's office now. The nurse just came back with my A1C at 6.4, and a few months ago it was 6.9, so it's went down a few points, it's great. Um, I'm just waiting to see the doctor now, and then I'll be out and probably gonna get some lunch. I was able to meet up with a friend and spend some time at Hobby Lobby with her, and we had a great time. Um, I'll show y'all Christmas haul soon, and I'll see y'all next time, bye.